Okay, folks, been having a trouble with the cylinder head temperature sensor on this 04 F-150 with the 5.4. Everybody says you cannot get the sensor off without moving the intake. Well, let's see, there's the, can you see, let me get my camera down see better there's the plug there's the hole you can get your hand down in there well I can the only thing I had to do was remove there's this insulation shit that probably needs to be thrown away stuck right here Protecting the alternator, breaking the heat from the intake. But also, this piece right here goes down in there. But it has two plastic pins, clip push pins. You can take a long pry bar and stick it in there and pop them out, and you can pull that piece right on out. So you can stick your hand right down through there and get it. The only thing is, using a wrench, you have to, I had to break it loose with a short wrench, and the only short wrench I have is this old cheap one I keep in the toolbox here, three quarter. But once I broke it loose, which it won't really tight, I have this right here cut off in my toolbox, and that's probably the reason it was cut off to start with. But, uh, but you can get them get it out without moving the intake and I put one in it last week just doing the same thing get by a mile down the road and 0119 code comes up for the sensor I put one in from O'Reilly's last week popped on again so today I called Ford they had to order one and won't be here until Wednesday because of the holiday. But I went ahead and changed the thermostat. And I got another sensor from O'Reilly's. They warranted it for me. I'm just going to try it again. But uh, I guess i put the Ford one in next week when it gets here. You know, these Fords are crazy on sensors sometimes. They only run to OEM. So... That's where I'm at. All right, folks. 2004 F-150 with the 5.4 cylinder head temperature sensor goes right in there. Little hole. I were I was able to pick the the front of the intake up where I can get my hand through here and change the sensor, but I couldn't get to the plug at the back for the wiring harness that was plugged in right there that tab locking tab was down there way down there you couldn't get to it and uh so i ended up pulling the just pulling the intake off And uh, okay, somebody walked down here and had to stop. But uh, yeah, the, the harness for that sensor plugs in right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the yellow wire right where it's bent at. It's broke, you can feel it. And I'm having to lean my belly over this damn thing. Let's see. But it's, you can see right where it's broke. And you most definitely can feel it. So, I'm going to have to cut it right there. And uh, splice it back together with some... Uh, 
I reckon solder. I don't really like soldering. I don't really know. I ain't never been good at it. I'd rather just put a butt connector that's heat shrink. But I got gas built everywhere, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I reckon I just solder it and put some uh, heat heat shrink tube over it. So, but I'm just sitting here looking and that green wire or gray, whatever color it is, it look like it's broke right there too. So, but what I think will happen is that harness has fallen down so far that the damn flappers on the back of the intake damn thing so I have to jump my little ass up and get up on it them rods here was rubbing on the uh, the wire and I think that's what uh, I think that's what made it do that and plus that that wiring harness was all down all up in here you see the dirt's rubbed off of that arm right there. So I'm gonna try to, uh, when I put the intake back in, I try to get that wiring harness as high as I can and zip tie somehow or another where it'll stay up. And don't do like I did the other, last week. Forget the, that when I caught the front of it up, that vacuum hose there had popped off. Now crank it up, it sounded like it had like a stage four cam in it. Sound pretty good, but uh, run like shit. But that's where I'm at, guys. I, uh, I put a O'Reilly sensor in it last week, and it did the same thing. Check engine light was uh, O119, and... I said, well, you know, these, you know how crazy Fords are by running aftermarket sensors. So I went and got uh, Ford, that's the Ford one. And I bought this new harness. It got the parts department said that you might as well just go ahead and spend, I think it was like $43 for that. It was like 66 bucks for the sensor and the harness. My cost. So, uh, but that's where I'm at. If y'all run into that and you play, replace your sensor, and if you ever have to replace, if you do replace the harness, I always check. I had one person on Pro Demand said that's what theirs were also, about a half inch or inch from the plug, and that's just where mine's at, same place. So that's what I'm doing tonight, fixing this. And hopefully get us back together shortly and have me a cold beer. Okay, folks, it's been running for about 20 minutes to relearn the throttle body because I had it off. But uh, so far, no check engine light, so I'm hoping I got the problem fixed. Um, I did put a 190 thermostat in it last week, so I'm waiting for the, you can't see it, but it's that 183 right now. So, I'm just waiting a few more minutes and I'm going to drive it to work tomorrow. So, maybe, uh, maybe it's fixed. 